Cheers to my first sake in Tokyo, in Japan. Cover charge 3,000, one drink? One drink, uh, 1,000 yen. Is it um, close? No close? No close. Special package, 3,000. Gira Gira girls. Wow, look at these buildings, guys. They are awesome. Yeah, Ichi no Kura, thank you. <laughs> yes, one glass. This here is our beautiful Wagyu beef platter. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another beautiful evening here in Tokyo. Now, tonight, we're actually out on a little evening stroll, and I'm in the Shinjuku neighborhood of Tokyo, which is one of the most popular. And to be honest, it's one of those areas that I haven't spent a lot of time in this trip. We've actually spent most of our time in the Shibuya area and also in the Minato neighborhood, but I decided why not let me tune on in and show you guys what the nightlife is looking like here in Tokyo. Now, of course, I'm with Gladys. Hello, guys. My eyes are going to that side of the road. <laughs> she wants to go to the Louis Vuitton store. I'm trying to tell her, hell no, not today. But, um, we're filming a video, maybe later. Maybe it's later. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be lit because it's nighttime in Tokyo, bees. <laughs> she almost said the B word. <laughs> but yes, we're here in Shinjuku. Right in front of me is the Louis Vuitton store. We got the Burberry store. All of the lights are starting to come on because it is, well, the sun has just set. And I've figured, why not? Let's go on a little city tour. We're gonna try to uh, dive on into some small little hidden alleyways, get ourselves some drinks, and who knows, maybe find ourselves at the rotating sushi. Oh my god, I you wish. You want some rotating sushi? Always. She's always down for rotating oh, sushi. This is the Apple store. Wow, this is the Apple store. Now, I've noticed that, you know, the nightlife here in Tokyo, we actually went out on Saturday night and on Friday night, and there wasn't a whole lot going on. Truck. That's very old. People love them in Venezuela. It's a Land Cruiser, right? Yeah, I think. An old Land Cruiser. It's sick. Yeah, you gotta love uh, Gladys because she's into cars. Every man's dream, right? But yeah, here's the Apple store. And now I got a little distracted. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I remember now. So basically, we've gone out on Friday and Saturday nights here in Tokyo. I actually tried to go out and like party pretty hard on Saturday night, but man, things are pretty dead. They're pretty dead. Um, basically what I found was just a lot of people hanging out, drinking beers and just chilling. But um, no crazy nightlife. I guess I'm gonna have to save the craziness for Thailand this upcoming week because that's where I'm gonna be in a few days and the nightlife there is next level. So. We're gonna walk around, have a couple drinks, and I'm gonna show you guys just the vibes. I know that a lot of you guys just wanna see Tokyo at night. You wanna see all of the neon signs, the big billboards and advertisements. So why not? Let's go on a little walk around the city. But yeah, here in this neighborhood of Shinjuku that we're in right now, there's a lot of big designer brand name stores, a whole bunch of um, jewelry shops, expensive clothing brands. A whole lot going on. And you know what I could definitely go for right now? Some sake. Some sake or a couple beers because why not, right? Tomorrow we're going to Disneyland. Woohoo! She's excited for Disney. Today we went to San Rio Pura Land, Hello Kitty Park. Yeah, that's true. Today we actually went to the Hello Kitty Park here in Tokyo. And you know, it wasn't really my cup of tea. But it was Gladys's cup of tea. She loved it. She enjoyed it very much. And I enjoyed watching her being happy. And look, she still got the Hello Kitty pins on her head. We did a little bit of shopping. It was fun. It was a good time. The view here is very awesome. It is, right? I mean, there's so many neon signs. And there's quite a bit of people out on the streets too. The energy is nice. We've been actually on the hunt for... Bless you, lady. We've actually been on a hunt for these melon bread ice creams it's like a, a famous treat here in japan from the osaka sorry i got like a hair hanging on my camera that's one of gladys's hairs for sure but um it's a famous treat from the osaka neighborhood or the osaka region of of i almost said thailand dang it the osaka region of japan but we haven't been able to find it here in tokyo 
Wow, the fire trucks look awesome. Have you seen the logo on the fire trucks? Look at this. It says Love Tokyo. I love how everything here in Japan is animated, even the logos on the on, on the, the fire trucks. Stuff. Yeah, on the serious stuff. It's pretty damn cool. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of all of these lights of this neighborhood so far, because this is definitely where it's at tonight. I mean, look at this place. It's quite crazy. And the movement is pretty damn good as well. All right, you know what? I think we're actually going to turn right here over on this street right now and start diving on a little deeper. But look, literally every street you walk down looks like a world on its own. All right, let's walk down this street. It looks a little dull, but according to my GPS, the fun stuff is down here. You want to go down this alley? Yeah, it looks cool. Wow. Wow, we got some street performers. You know, here in this neighborhood so far, we've noticed there's a lot of street performers. We actually haven't found that around too often in other areas of Tokyo. In the area we're staying in, we're in like the Tamachi um, neighborhood or the Tamachi station, but it's actually in the Minato neighborhood close to the Tokyo Tower. It's very calm, local feel, no tourists at all. And the street looks quite dead at night. Like there's not much going on, but we like it. We're actually staying in a hotel called Sotetsu Fresa Inn. It's about $100 a night. Actually, our last night was a bit more expensive. I think the more nights you book, the cheaper it gets. Dang, there's a lot of fire trucks out here right now. Um, oh, this is a this must be like a maid, another maid cafe. Hello. <laughs> wow, she was nice. First, yeah, first person to not cover their um, their face. Oh man, this is awesome. I think that's a strip club, is it? Owly syndrome. Owly syndrome. Maybe you can go and check. We still haven't gone to a Japanese strip club, Gladys. What's wrong with you? With you? I know. I need to go to one. Gladys has been trying to tell me to go into one of those places. Gladys has been trying to get me to do all kinds of things. She's been trying to get me to go to the soapy massage. <laughs> you should definitely try one of them. They're in Tokyo. I know. A lot of you guys are like, Chris, what the hell? You got a girlfriend that will let you go to the soapy massage? She wants me to experience everything, but I haven't had the time. We've been filming so damn much, so much work. You got experience, they're young, they're fun. You gotta leave, right? Yeah, you're right. Oh, wow, look, let's see what's one of these. Hello. Is this um, Maid Cafe? Yes. Yes? Oh, okay. Wow, thank you. That's awesome. Thank you, bye. Arigato. <laughs> Yo. They love the camera in this area. Wow, wow. that's awesome. You know, we've tried to film a couple of those pe um, ladies that hand these out around the city and they always shy away, but not here. Shinjuku, what a place. Wow, look at these buildings, guys. They are awesome. I wonder what that is. Club, Work and Life Cafe. 24 hour club. 24 hour club. You should definitely go and explore. You know what I think we should do, Gladys? I think we should find. You know, I know you want to do rotating sushi, but I, I really like that Wagyu beef um, kind of place. Wagyu beef? Maybe we should go over to the Shibuya neighborhood once we get done with this spot. Could be cool. Yes, let's go. Let's see, let's see, guys. Let's see how this little area turns out. Let me continue on with my little tour. This looks very cool. I mean, check all the colors. I've never seen so many neons in one place, not even in Shibuya. So this is definitely the area where you are going to find all the big neons. The big neon signs, the nightlife. This is definitely the thriving nightlife area. But I've noticed that, um, actually, it's something that Gladys and I have both noticed. Here in Tokyo, the streets are extremely quiet and silent, even in the busiest neighborhoods during the day. But like around 6 p.m., it seems like everybody starts talking. Like every the city comes to life, people come to life. Japanese becomes a pirate. Yeah, they don't around stop talking. <laughs> but during the day, you won't get a word out of anyone. It's pretty fun. It's interesting. It's an interesting place, to say the least. I'd love to go out and explore other areas outside of Tokyo, but for now, I think this is where we're going to be spending our time in Japan, in Tokyo. You want to 
skips right or should we turn left? Um, let's go left. It looks more popping that way, right? Yes. Let's explore. Let's explore. Why not? Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to just, I don't know. Maybe we'll go to the Louis Vuitton store and buy Gladys a, a little a little purse. We're going to give her a limit though if that ends up happening. Yeah, right. Four, $400 limit. Is that a deal? That's a keychain. That's a keychain. Yeah, you're right. No, we're not going to Louis Vuitton shopping tonight. I just had to get her happy a little bit. hotel or something. Look, free Wi-Fi, shower, a best work, snacks, internet, food. And you have over there the, the prices according to the floor. Wow. Or maybe it's a love hotel. You know, we actually had reservations for a love hotel today. Yes, I went. We were supposed to film it for you guys, but we left the Hello Kitty Park extremely tired and we couldn't make it happen. Wow, there's a lot of fire department out. You see that? Yeah, maybe something's going on. Yeah, maybe something crazy is happening tonight that we don't know of. Oh yeah, this looks this looks nice. Should we should we wander down? I think so. This looks so cool. It looks cool, huh? Let's go. Let's it, go check it out. It, this looks sake cool. Sake cool? Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, you guys want to know what time it is? Let me show you. I almost forgot. <laughs> Look like at my cool... Sake from the drink. Yeah, I know. Oh, I got okay. I got what you were saying. That's how I'm going to show them what time it is. Look at what time it is, guys. It's oh for sake time. <laughs> yeah, I changed that just for the video. I knew I was going to go to the sake place, so... I had to make it interesting and spice it up for a little a little bit for you guys. Now, you know what's funny is that I actually purchased a shirt for tonight's video. I just had no idea I was filming it tonight, so I'm going to have to wear it later on. Oh, is this like a this is like a hentai club. Whoa. Yo, that looks interesting. English menu available. Oh, but that's for That's for the restaurant. Wow. Hey, this looks interesting. Oh, it's a store. Oh, it's a sex shop. Yeah. A lot of sex shops. But yeah, here people are really into the hentai. And it's funny that we just saw that because I was just talking about my shirt. I actually bought a shirt with like a Pornhub logo, but it says hentai. It's black and orange. It's pretty damn funny. And I've never seen a, I've never watched a scene of hentai in my life, to be completely honest with you guys. I'd be honest if I have. But I haven't, neither has Gladys, but you know what? Tonight we're gonna change that. I'm gonna show you exactly what that is. I don't know what that is. Because she has no idea what it is. What, what do you think um, hentai is? One of those cute cartoons from Japan. Yeah, fair enough. She's close, she's close. Oh, look, at night, like, you can watch uh, horse um, competition horse racing competitions so this here is um what is the name of this area again i forgot but it's the red light district of tokyo this here is the um kabukichu neighborhood oh my God. so this here is the red light wow Look at me. that looks interesting huh things you only see in the red light district of tokyo yeah that is interesting huh you know what? Here's some of those like meat places that we went to the other night. Wow, everything looks pretty interesting over here. I mean, look at that. Gladys really wants to go in there, huh? I'm trying to, to watch the screen from here. I think they go to your table dressed like that and serve you. I wish we could, I wish we could make a little video. Then we could definitely jump on in there. Hmm. Yeah, this is awesome. Yo, it's cool that we wandered down here. Wow, look at that. I mean, she's pretty much naked up there, huh? You know what, Gladys? Let's walk down this street. It looks interesting. It's calling my name. All right. Let's see what we can find here in this area. There's definitely so much to look at. Pink planets. Wow, this is awesome, yo. Oh, so these are these are girls, huh? Yes. Special package, three thousand. Gita Gita girls. Wow, I wonder what this is. 
Excuse me? Is this um like a uh, dance club? Dance club? Yeah, dance club or what is it? Uh sorry, uh Japanese speaking only hostess club. Oh okay. Uh, arigato. Thank, Thank you. you. You know, we've noticed that here in Japan, it's hard to come across anybody that speaks English, right? You gotta learn Japanese. I think he said that place is only for Japanese speaking. Yeah, you know why? Um, a lot of the places we've walked into, actually Gladys tried to get me to walk into a brothel the other day and I walked inside and they kicked me right out. They said Japanese speaking only, which is weird, man. Right? Very weird. That's why Thailand is amazing, guys. Thailand is amazing, guys. You're not required to speak th uh, Thai. Yeah, not at all. Going to a sappy massage. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Should, should I should I try and swing it? Should I try and go in there? Let's see. Let's see what it looks like inside. Come on. Hmm. Interesting, right? Weird place. I'm not sure what's in there. I mean, it's just a bunch of pictures of girls on the walls. I'm trying to. It's a weird place, honestly. Are you trying to use Google Translate and figure out what this is? You know what, Gladys? Why don't we go into one of these? Um, no, you know what? Let's go get a drink first, and then I'm gonna take you on a little meat dinner. You wanna go eat some wagyu? Yeah. We'll do, you know what? We only got a few more days in Tokyo. How about we do this? How about we get some Wagyu and we also get some some sushi as well. Yeah, that's Deal? Right. She always makes me shake because if I don't uh, if I don't follow through, she holds me against it all the time. Oh man, dude, this area is popping. A music bar, a disco over here. Wow, this steak looks amazing. Yeah, man, this is a pretty wild area. I've never seen anything quite like this before. I mean, all of the signs, the people, the all of the girls in the outfits trying to bring you into the restaurants. I mean, granted, it's kind of like it's kind of like the vibes that you would get in in Thailand, but in Thailand. It's, I don't know, it's almost a little bit more fun because they come up to you and they're like grabbing you and they're like, come with me, come with me, and it's fun. Sawadee ka, Thai massage. Happy, happy. And I'm like, yeah, buddy. It gets fun, you know? It does get hella fun. Wow, this is a super cool area. You know what? Why don't we... Where, where can we get a drink around here? That's what I want. Where can we get a drink? Hello. Um, how much is the dance show? Cover charge three thousand. One drink. One drink. Uh, one thousand. Is it um close? No close. No close. Ah uh, no no no. Uh, lingerie, lingerie dress. Oh, like your dress. And and oh, okay. Dance. Okay. And sing. Can you, when we take pictures? Picture. Yeah, we could uh, take picture. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Wow. Should we do it? Three thousand cover charge, one drink. If you want, you can go, and I can wait for you. Um. <laughs> you know what? Okay, we'll come back. Yeah. We'll come back. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh, that looks interesting. Why didn't you go? You don't want to go with me? Mm, yeah, we can I mean, go it could together. be cool. I mean, it could be cool. If they're inviting me, let's let's do it. Um, if we go right now, can oh. what's the drink? Can we get beer? Beer. Yeah, beer. Uh, One yeah, beer included. Whiskey. We do it Okay, but no beer. Uh, beer. No alcohol. No alcohol drink. We have no alcohol. No alcohol. Okay. Oh, you have no alcohol. Yeah, yeah, no alcohol, uh, beer, uh, whiskey. Uh. Oh, that you do, ha you have beer downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah, two, two. Why not? Uh, We're gonna go check out this show. How long? How long is the show? Uh, how much time? Twenty uh, minutes? Thirty minutes? Thirty minutes. Uh, thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> let's go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. 
Yo, this is nice. Thank you so much. Arigato. All right, this is gonna be an interesting experience. Thank you. U.S. Ah, yes. Yeah, thank you. Hello, how are you? Oh, you just dropped something. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. How are you? I'm great, how are you? Good, good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hey. All right, well, we ended up coming out of that joint. It looked, it looked pretty cool, but it was very quiet in there. Like, there was nothing going on. And then on top of the 3,000, he wanted the 1,500 for the drink. And then you have to also pay for each girl to dance, which was 3,000 per song. So we were like, well, I was like, let's get on out of there. Gladys wanted to stay, but I told her, well, you know what, we'll come back because that spot looks dead. And I'm pretty sure we'll find like better spots um after dinner because right now it's about 7 8 p.m i think it's not that you have your own private show but we have to get lucky and be there with a guy that pays the show <laughs> yeah exactly exactly that's what happened to us at the maid cafe but hey overall it was a cool experience and like we just showed you guys what that was like like walking down into one of those shows but man look at these streets guys it is awesome out here Wow, it is awesome out here. Man, there's so much to look at. Let me know what you guys <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys would have hung out down there. To be honest, um, it looked interesting, but the I'm gonna be honest with you guys, even right now with Gladys here, the girls didn't look too beautiful. <laughs> to be honest with you guys. Maybe if there was like a I don't know. They had too much clothes. Yeah, they had too much clothes <laughs> on, man. For me, at least. <laughs> Oh, I love walking around with Gladys. Wow, look at this spot, though. This, this, looks like this, spot. this looks like my kind of place right here. Oh, yeah, the caution tape. You know what, though? They almost look real, and then you get close, and you're like, dude, they're straight, like, cartoon characters. They're... A peeping show. A peeping show? Peeping show. I think that's kind of like a ping pong show in Thailand. Oh, man, yeah, it's definitely like a... Yo, you know what? I know we can't show that because um, then this video is gonna get taken down. But you know what, Gladys? I That's think we found spot, our spot. Chris? I think we found our spot. That definitely you, looks like the one. You definitely need to go downstairs in there. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah. Go, 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 go. That's the one. But we're gonna go there without without the camera. Wow, they got a Gigo building. Hey, we're gonna go play Sega games too. You know what? We're gonna hang out here tonight. Let's do that. Let's dance, dance revolution. <laughs> <laughs> that's nightlife. Yeah, that's that's nightlife. You're right. Because everybody leaves the work and goes to those places no. to play. Or yeah, the locals the love them. Machine. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. You know what though? I say we. I, I I'm not having any luck here. You know what? Let me do a little bit of um, reconnaissance here in the area and then. We'll hop back on. Or you know what? Why don't we go sit down and have some um, some Wagyu? How's that yeah. sound? Anything you want to eat. Oh, look at the girls here. Wow, this is definitely the street where all of the girls are standing. Interesting. Look, she's taking off with this man right now. Oh, man. I wish I knew exactly what they were advertising though. I should ask them, huh? Wow, she looks like she has a menu. Oh my god, this is crazy. Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. She didn't want to talk with the camera. It's because some do, but some don't. Oh man. Some interesting characters out here though, to say the least. Cafe? Oh, that's a cafe. Okay. No more maids cafes for me here in Tokyo. I went with Gladys and it is definitely not my thing. I don't know guys, that, is it your thing? The maid cafe? Yeah. I think I like it, but do you know what? For us, like people that live at the other part of the world, it's kind of weird, but it's something very normal here, I think. 
like the animals cafe so I don't know let us know guys what do you think on the comment section that is we are a restaurant with a nap room <laughs> that is weird and the powder room a powder room a nap room and a oh, restaurant no, it's a spa that's your kind of place I like the spas too but I like I prefer my massages in Thailand yes. right I am oh my god I need to go to Thailand so bad I need we a gotta get massage. back there a so, uh, no not a soapy uh, Thai <laughs> Thai. soapy <laughs> uh, sorry. oh I love this girl <laughs> she's so funny the head the scalp massage that one's amazing. yeah those ones are amazing the scalp ones you know what let's actually walk down this street and then um we're gonna go visit that Wagyu beef location that we saw earlier. You know what, guys? I'm gonna turn this camera off right now, and I'll see you guys at the Wagyu beef restaurant. So we just found this little hole in the wall, little pub in an alleyway that we just decided to jump on into. And I think this is the perfect spot to get a couple of drinks in before heading off to eat our little Wagyu beef barbecue tonight. Now this spot here does have a cover charge of 500 per person. I'm not sure if that's normal or not, but um, sounds about right, right? I mean, we had a cover charge last night at the Kentucky place, so sounds about right. And they have beers, high balls. I'm not too sure what those are. Sake. Oh man, quite a bit of things. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with the beer and the sake. Oh, you're Why not? Hard tonight. I'm gonna spice it up. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. What kind of sake do you have? Sake. Which kind? <laughs> is it bottle? Bottle sake? Oh, a glass? And you, you take a shot like... You drink sake slow? Okay, one sake? Um, which kind you recommend? Oh. Yeah, ich, Ichi no Kura. Yeah, Ichi no Kura, thank you. Yes, one glass. <laughs> and then which one do you want? Uh, maybe I'll go with that sake. That, that, looks, like. that looks like a. Yeah, that looks dangerous, doesn't it? I don't know. Jap Japanese tequila. <laughs> yeah, that does look good, huh? Oh my god. Um, here you also have the uh, food menu. What do you think we should go with though? A skewer? A skewer. You just want a skewer. Okay. Alright, easy enough. Gladys is an easy date. She doesn't really drink alcohol ever. Last night she had a beer. She was spicing it up a little bit. So, um, she's just gonna sit back and maybe have a skewer. Sure, yeah. <laughs> right now. Oh, nice. We're about to get have the party going right now. Oh, oh wow. That is amazing. Oh man, that's my first time. You overfilled the glass too. Wow, how do you even drink this? I wonder how you even drink this sake. This sake you drink by itself? Slowly. Oh, okay. Awesome. I know, my first time drinking sake. Oh, yeah, my first time. Oh, you just drink no, it slowly? Oh, okay, no shots. No, <laughs> okay. Mm. Cheers to my first sake in Tokyo, in Japan. You know what? It's not strong at all, actually. Very much has an alcohol feel to it, but it's more of like a, it's more watered down actually. It's not bad. It's delicious. You gonna try it, Gladys? She wants to try it too. She doesn't drink alcohol, but she loves to try new things. So, why not? But it's a nightlife in Tokyo. You can meet a sake, right? Yeah, true, true. 
Like, oh, 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 <laughs> it's kind of it's weird, huh? I think this is a trap. I think if, if you when you drink all, you're gonna be wasted. Screwed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it don't taste strong. Like it's not. Oh no. Yeah, it doesn't alcohol. give you that burn no. like a shot of tequila would. It's kind of like a very soft beer. Yeah. You know? So it's I good. Yeah, it's good. You know, it's not strong at all. It's good. Well, maybe I just don't feel like it's strong. I'm gonna be like. wasted. Yeah, you are. All right, you know what, guys? I'm gonna enjoy the sake now. I'm probably gonna have another beer. Uh, Gladys is gonna have a green tea. We already made up the decision, and then we'll get on out of here. I want sake. You want a sake too? But no, I share with you. Okay. Can we share? Yeah, we'll just share. And then we'll get on out of here, and we're gonna go get some good food because I'm hungry. We're both super hungry. So right now she's actually cooking up uh, Gladys's chicken thigh and they just brought us out these little noodles so we're about to go ahead and try these. I'm halfway through my sake but you know what? I think I'm going to end up getting another one. Another sake. It's, it's, it's a weekday. It's cool. What is it? It's a Tuesday night in Tokyo. What else do you expect? Okay, cool. You gotta have two sakes. Oh, they just turned on some more lights. This is awesome, man. What a good vibe. Local vibes. These people know everybody. People are just coming in saying hi to them. They're having their conversation, and we're just sitting here in our little corner. I think we're a little too quiet for this place. Yeah. Like, we're, we're not as rowdy yet. Like, we need to be more talkative and more loud, but we're just... We, in, we've been in Tokyo for 10 days now, and it's been so quiet everywhere that... This is weird. This is weird for us right now. We're like, what? People are talking inside of a restaurant? In Japan, it's super common to find everybody eating, like, by themselves or, like... Even in groups, you don't hear them really talking out loud, but no, this well, one is when lit. When it comes night, they get very... They get rowdy. Rowdy? Rowdy. Rowdy. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I don't talk, talk to this. They get lit. They get lit. I'm looking for my chopsticks because if you're in, in Japan, you gotta eat with a Hello Kitty chopsticks. Yeah, she just bought these today. What do you think, guys? <laughs> she's she's a character, man. Gladys is so much fun to be with. All right, we're going to enjoy our noodles. I'm going to have one more sake, and then I'll see you guys on outside because this is a whole video on its own, man. This place is so interesting. Look at all the bottles up on there, all of the cups. Look at the pepper shaker. It's a black cat. Do you want to try your, your appetizers? Yeah, you know what? Here, let me get a bite. And then, I, and then I'll have mine too. Why not? <laughs> Everything in Japan, all the Japanese food never disappoints. Wow, that is nice. It's like a fresh noodle salad. Mm. Delicious, right? Oh my god. So good. No, seriously. I dove into a couple of these little hole in the wall bars over in the Shibuya neighborhood. Always look for the tiny little hole in the wall bar when in Tokyo. That's where they have the best drinks and you're gonna find some really good food as well. All right, enough small talk. See you guys outside. So I finished a sake. Now there's a whole bunch of sake in there and I don't know what to do with it. Excuse me? Excuse me? When I finish the sake, I pour the rest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You want to help me, Gladys? Yes, like this? Let's try it. Oh, kitty. Oh, kitty. <laughs> Hello, kitty. 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 Cinnamon roll. For you, for you. For you. I have so many. I win at the machine. Oh, you you yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. Oh, let's see like, who is going to make a mess. I think this is like physics. Oh. Yo, yeah. not, not bad for a first timer, huh? Oh my god. You guys saw that? No, this is not your first time. Say the truth. <laughs> that one, I swear, is my first time. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a natural. Oh. Man, how cool is that? And it's always nice. You know how many of those small little prizes we've won? I even won like a giant Pikachu the other day. And we just always give it away to the kids on the streets because we can't take them home with us. Like, we got a lot more countries to travel to after this. So it's nice, like, you know, carry them around and then you see someone cute like her and you just give it away. It's awesome. And it's cute, like, I, I grabbed the cinnamon roll. We, we grabbed, yeah, the first pool out of the claw machine. So it's really nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is your chicken. Arigato. Wow, that looks fun. Maybe we should just eat dinner here. No, I want to show you guys some more of this area because... I'm going to put a little bit of salt. In your black... Oh, that's soy sauce. Good thing you got that there. It almost landed on your pants. Oh my god. Wow, I called it pepper, you called it salt, and it's soy sauce. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so hungry. Looking at you eat that. It's just making me so hungry. I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not gonna take that from you. You eat it. You eat it. We, we're gonna go to the Wagyu beef after this, and that's where I'm gonna go to town. Wait till you guys see that. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you, Chris. All right, you know what? That was an awesome, awesome experience. Hanging out inside of that little bar. Had a couple. Had a couple more drinks. Ate the chicken thigh. I actually did end up taking her skewer because <laughs> she put it down in front of me. And then once I ate it, she was like. Well, I didn't think you were actually going to eat it. Come on now. Don't put that in front of me. Of course I'm going to eat it. All right. Anyways, um, right now I'm going to hunt for a Wagyu beef spot. I'm actually not going to bore you guys too much on that hunt. But um, the area that we're in right now actually looks like there's, you know, some shopping stores, a bunch more of like the big anime building. Man, this whole area is just super impressive. I wish now I wish we would have spent more time here. Yeah, we were missing this. Oh. We've been missing out and you know what when I come back or actually on the on Wednesday okay. The day after Disneyland on our last night. I think we should spend it here. Okay. This looks like a great place All right Yeah, that does look pretty nice, huh? Wow, the dresses look, look amazing Japanese fashion, Japanese fi uh, fashion at its finest. All right. Well, I'll catch up with you guys once we find the uh, Wagyu beef restaurant Man, this is definitely where the nightlife is that at, like the crazy has a, nightlife. A sign. It says this is regular bar, no show time. <laughs> this is regular <laughs> quiet bar, no show time. I guess there must be a lot of strip clubs around here, a lot of booty shaking. Check this. Oh yeah, that is like a one of those anime spots. Look at this place. Like this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I'm in the mood for, like some wagyu beef. That looks amazing. Um Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I want to continue on a little bit because that spot looks a little too dark for me, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, I, I need some light. Oh, no. So, once I find the right place, I'll tune back in. Whoa, look at this. Kabukisha free information. Hmm. I wonder if it's real. Are you going to go investigate? like free information to get girls yeah that's that's how the other place i looked i walked into earlier looked like just a bunch of was there a bunch of like uh pictures of women yes, on the walls yes yeah that's how the other place was earlier Ooh. that you missed out on crazy 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 all right catch up with you guys here in a second You know what guys, Gladys and I have made an executive decision and right now we're actually on our way to Shinjuku Station. I think we covered this area quite well. Obviously there's so many nooks and crannies of this place, but now we're gonna head over to Shibuya and we're gonna visit one of our favorite Wagyu beef locations that we actually stopped at a few times this trip. And man, they got some incredible meat selection. I know that sounds incredibly wrong, especially with what's going on in this video, but they got some incredible meat selection and we can actually cook it ourselves on a little stove top. So let's hop onto the Metro and I'll see you guys at Shibuya. All right, 
right, so we have made it to Shibuya Station and we're actually right beside the Scramble Crossing, the largest crossing in the entire world, pedestrian crossing in the entire world. Now Gladys is right here behind me. Oh, this is Hachiko Square actually, where we're at right now. And we're about to cross the largest pedestrian crossing in the entire world, which is cool because you guys have seen this on the channel now during the day. But first time you're gonna see it at night. Oh man, they're about to cross. Let's see how crazy it gets out here. It actually isn't too busy tonight, but still so many people crossing at the moment. Super impressive area. Now, unlike the um, the Shinjuku area here in Shibuya, it's pretty much like these principal streets where you see all the crazy lights and then the rest is kind of chill, huh? Shinjuku is definitely a lot more lit and around here you don't see all the advertisements for the girls and like the anime uh, titties hanging out. No maid cafes. No maid cafes. You don't find that here. Now but the... smoking areas. <laughs> yeah, you find the smoking areas. It's pretty crazy. This is how people smoke here in uh, Tokyo. They actually have these smoking areas, which I'm not sure why they do. I guess that's just because you know, people don't want smoke in their face as they're walking around. Now, there's a lot more people out right now than there was yesterday. Yesterday it was raining and we were around this area. It was very, very chill, relaxed vibes. But today, it is very much active. Now, we're actually only walking up about five minutes up this road over to the Wagyu beef place. I'm gonna leave this up to Gladys. Oh man, that smells so good. There's definitely one of those meat places around here. Yeah, me too. I'm so hungry. You remember where it's at, right? Very well. Very well. <laughs> Follow me. I'm always checking on the stores because you know what? You never know what you need. Gladys loves the shopping. She she can she can visit an H and M once and know where it's at forever. Oh, look, nightlife at the casino. Yeah, this is the casino. I think I walked in there on my first video, to be honest with you guys. Yeah. All right, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Actually, you know what? I think it's right across from the Unicula, right? Yeah, it's right across from, um, no, H&M. H&M. Yeah. That's we what it was. So we got to cross the street. Turn right. Okay. Yeah, turn next corner. Right. So and then jump on guys. in. Unicula, next corner, right. But seriously, we've been here twice now and it's so damn good. The food is incredible. But yeah, here's a little bit of the nightlife in the Shibuya area. It's pretty popping around here. I mean, not a whole bunch of party going on, but definitely a great place to walk around and soak in all of the views. Family Mart, this here is one of my favorite stores. It's kind of like a 7-Eleven. You can actually find them in in Thailand as well, especially in like the Phuket area. I didn't really see too many family marts in Bangkok though. Uh, me neither. There are 7-Eleven, yes. Everywhere. Like almost every corner. And so many people talk about Jap Japan having the best 7-Eleven. That's cat. It's yeah. good. It's good. But 7-Eleven in Thailand is a million times better. Yeah. Alright. It's lit. It's lit, yeah. All right, we got the red light now. But that's the alley we're turning down, right, Gladys? Yes, 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 yes. We're close, we're close. We're getting warmer. Oh, I feel I'm gonna pass out. Are you that hungry? The last meal we had today was a was a Hello Kitty chicken curry and rice that you can see over on Gladys' channel. It was pretty pom, good. Pom pom pudding, pom pom pudding, chicken curry and rice. Hello Kitty curry and rice. A bent box with hash brows. With the Hello Kitty case. With a Hello Kitty sausage. Yeah. <laughs> crazy, crazy place Hello that was. Hello Kitty pudding. It was crazy. Hello Kitty everything. I honestly now wish I would have filmed it for you guys, but filming for two yeah. people is hard, man. And it's hard. Her, her video is a lot more informative than mine was. All right. We're crossing the street now. I feel like I keep saying all right, but you know what? All right. Let's get it going. I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm super hungry right now. 
I'm also extremely hungry because I think we ate at like 12? 12? 12.30? 2 p.m. 2 p.m. I'm on that fat boy time. I mean, what time? Every meal seems like, you know, happened hours ago. Huh? Uh, now it's around nine. Yeah, now it's 9 p.m. This here is vivid nightlife. All right, this is the alley we're turning down. Woohoo! I love me a nice, a nice alley to walk down. Stay off the phone. Sorry, sorry. You know what happened to me two days ago? Should no, we tell them? I wanted, I wanted for you to ask me what time is it. What time is it? Why you time? <laughs> Why you beef time? <laughs> no, but seriously, a few days ago I was walking on my phone. Dude, I fell down a flight of stairs, hurt my ass, my thigh, my ankle, my knee was hurting. It was terrible. Because he's always like this. On the phone, man. But yeah, I fell, I fell so hard, guys. I was just thankful that, you know, I didn't break nothing. All right, yeah. we're, so we've made it. It's been a long journey to get here, but this here oh is the place. Oh my God, Chris, it's closed. I can see the door open. No, Don't be trying to check no. me. <laughs> gotcha. Got me. All right, this here is the spot. And we got the same two oh seats available. God. Oh, yeah. So this here is the spot, guys. Look at all the Wagyu beef that they have. And they're extremely friendly. All right. Oi. Hello. Oh, sorry. Oh, No, no, no reservation. No. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, five minutes to wait. Okay. okay. Cool. Thank you. Oh, so we have to wait today. That's fine with me, though. Five minutes is perfectly fine. Oh, yeah, my friend is there. Man, he was so funny. The guy who was working at the bar. All right, hopefully we get a bar we, we uh, set up. We want the bar. Yeah. Let's see. I think, I think he knows what we want. Oh, yeah, there's people leaving right now. No, guys, these beef houses are amazing. The beef here in Japan is unreal. I mean, look at the Wagyu. Nothing to play with. Nothing to play with. All right, guys. Well, uh, I'll put the camera down. I'll see you guys once we get on inside. I don't even know what else to talk about. I'm so hungry and the smell. I know that's driving you crazy right now. Would you like sandwich, Dori? Yes, Sapporo. So this here is the menu guys and we're going with this here the wagyu meat and vegetable set for two people 6,500 I believe that's like 45 US dollars not bad at all and they also have an assorted meat selection of course chicken and all kinds of pork meats But yeah, this spot is definitely the one you want to come to it's super low-key local and you get to cook your meats right here on this grill right in front of us so i'm excited good stuff just ordered me a beer as well and the beer is actually the price of the entrance fee to the last place which isn't bad yeah there is no entrance entrance fee on this one hey thank you bro hey cola so right now he's actually preparing all of the cuts of meat right in front of us i got the beer cheers guys i hope you are enjoying this video so far and definitely when you come to tokyo or anywhere in japan you guys have to try one of these wagyu beef bars they're incredible and especially the ones where you can actually grill the meat in or yourselves it's a cool experience and it's a nice way to like socialize with others and this place is full and i'm noticing that you can actually smoke cigarettes in here as well so if you're a cigarette smoker this is a cool place for you to come hang out also Thank you. I have and can we can we get the uh, chicken Thai too? Yeah, thank you. All right, let's actually move this menu out of the way. But peep this out, guys. This here is the drawer where you can actually get the tongs and the scissors to cut up your wagyu. This here is our beautiful wagyu beef platter, and then. He actually gives you some fat as well, which is the oil for the grill. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Oil. 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 
<laughs> it's funny because he, he actually speaks a little bit of Spanish. And he's been messing with us La the other day when we came here to eat. Yeah, the pollo. 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 Yeah, he's so funny. But yeah, we're putting some a little bit of fat on here, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start throwing every piece of beef that we have on here, a little bit at a time. So it's time for us to enjoy this meal. Now, the cool part is that we actually get uh, cucumber-like style kimchi as well, and a couple other sauces, some salt, wasabi, and let's actually throw the first piece on there. Why not? Oh yeah, that's good. That's how you do it. Alright, well guys, I'm gonna enjoy my meal here with Gladys. And you know what? I think this is how we're gonna wrap up today's video. Now it's my turn. No, seriously, this has turned into our favorite spot here in Tokyo so far. All right, guys, well, um, I hope you enjoyed this little nightlife video. We showed you a little bit of Shibuya, a little bit of Shinjuku, a little bit of the Wagyu, and um, now I'm bringing this video to an end, so but later, guys. Okay, coming, pollo. Bye-bye, guys. Oh, that's the pollo. Pollo. Pollo loco. Pollo loco. No pollo. No pollo. Good times. Later, guys. Sayonara. Sayonara.